Alright, today I'm going to go over how to set up Over the Wire in We Shall Scoreboard. So, on Over the Wire's site, um, the steps are pretty obvious, uh, but then it, on step 3 it says, assuming you're using the correct operating system, edit this file. Well, if you're on Windows 10, um, that's a little different, so I'm going to show how you could... Uh, get a bash command line on uh, Windows 10 and luckily it's built in already so the first thing we gotta do is if you go to turn Windows features on or off and then scroll down and where it says Windows subsystem for Linux you're gonna wanna check that it'll probably it'll be unchecked by default so check it when you hit OK, it's going to tell you you need to restart your system. So go ahead and after you do that, restart your computer. And when you get back in, um, go back to your search bar and type in developer. And go to your developer settings and make sure developer mode is checked. Otherwise, when you try to install uh, Ubuntu Bash or whatever, uh, it's going to tell you you need to install this. So that's the second step. After you do that, you're going to want to open a admin command prompt. And you're going to want to type in bash and hit enter. And when you do that, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Um, and you just want to hit yes, and that'll install it. And then it'll put you right into, uh, right into bash. So then after you do all that, uh, go ahead and register for We Shall account. And so after you register, if you go to account, link sites, let's add over the wire, over the wire, link site. Okay, so we got that set up. So now we gotta get this token from We Shall. So if you go account and then war boxes, this is your token. Um so let's see here. Okay, so now we gotta edit this file. So just open uh let me get rid of this. Open a new command window. And type in bash, and then let's uh, change directory into home, and then if you do list all, you're not going to see it, so you gotta go list squiggle forward slash type more, and you'll see that bash rc file right there. So I'm just gonna use nano. Um, squiggle for slash bash rc. Okay, and then I just go to the bottom of this file and type in those two lines up here that they tell you to. So you shall user equals. Uh, my username I set up is YouTube demo. And then we want to export we shell token. And that is going to be, again, that's under account war boxes. And then it's, it's right here. And I'm not going to copy that because um, I copied the password for the first level. So I, just, so I could show you how to register. And I don't want you to see the password, so I'm going to manually type this in. Sorry about this. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to go through the first level, but I don't want to 
away the password, so I already have a copy and paste it. So that's why I'm keeping this in. Type that point. <laughs> so yeah, save that. Control circle. Control O. Just write it out. Let's get out of here. So. Then I believe, yeah, so we set the environment variable, but now we got to log out to make it take effect. So let's go back in, and now we can try to echo that username. Okay, there we go. That's the username. Just double check on the token. So let's go over here. Yeah, so let's uh let's go to the first level. So now that we have this bash command line, we could uh normal with Windows you can't SSH but now you can, so that helps. So um so technically the first one you're gonna go in is zero to get the password to the first level. But I already have the password for the first level. So I'm gonna password. Okay. I'm gonna copy the password in. Alright. Yep, so now we're in. Um now when whenever you get into level, type in we shall first command and it'll register this level and you can see that it uh, took our environment variables right here and if you go over here go to link sites right here now it's updated we solved one so yep that's about it so I hope this helps um, just leave any feedback if you want. And uh, thanks for watching.